Yeah, it's a shithole again. Like 40 kilo ball breakers. Yeah, everything's down. Ready for put a mix in now. This is how you want your walls to come down. So, Monday morning. I'm on solo one today. Alex is supposed to be here, but he's, yeah, I think he's got food poisoning, he's not so good at all. So he's left at home. So this is our little job. We only came to see this on Saturday. Um, as you can see, it's a one, two, three, four courses with a row of stretches on top, single skin, no pillar. And as you can see, it's on its way over. So we're going to take it back to the centre, probably up to there where the step is. Put a step there, take it back to there, clean up and rebuild it. We've got about maybe 10 bricks to replace. So we'll, we'll just pick up a, a, a clay cam and put, put them in a lower course where they're not seen. Because they're, they're like a very rare face brick, these I've never seen these before. And we've also got this tree, which is uh, right on the wall. But it's quite a big tree, so we're just going to cut this front branch off. Prune this bush back a bit. Because it's going to be getting soaked at the moment because it's wet. Yeah, so that's today's job. Drop this, clean the bricks, and get it back up. So um, let's get it set up and off we go. This is how you want your walls to come down. one for any DIYs out there. You're knocking the wall down and you're cleaning the bricks up. That's what you want. Scotch hammer. It's got interchangeable blades. As you can see, when they wear down, just knock it out, turn it around, it's double-ended. And they're for, super for cleaning bricks up. So if you've got a load of bricks to clean up, that's what you want a scotch hammer. They range from about 9 quid up to about 28 quid for a decent one. Um, I'm trying to get hold of a decent one, but they're out of stock at the moment, which is a roughneck version. These, these ones, when the handle falls off, you just replace the handle. But that's it, scotch hammer. Bricklayer's best friend, that.
9.25 quick one before this battery dies we're about two thirds of the way across the first few are hard to clean but then it probably is. There we go, um, it is 10.25, oh message from Alex, 10.25, walls down, down to that bottom course, so steps up here so we've got three, three stretches and the brick and edge to go back on, so it's time to nip off and get the sand and cement and have a word about this tree. As you can see, it's been against the wall, and putting the wall back up against that is no good for it. There's a root there and a root there, so just need to speak to the customer how much of this thing we can do chop down. There's still half a bit left there in the garden, so plus it's it's uh, it's dying off now, so it's not like we're taking it in its prime. The bees love it, and the butterflies. It's a shame to chop it, but I mean, look how far it overhangs the pavement. So I'll have a word when I get back anyway. Oh yeah, off to Fairwoods. The usual usual spot. Yeah, it's a shithole again. But anyway, been to Fairwoods, got our sand and cement. Burst over Fairwoods has the big bags. Big 40 kilo ball breakers. Yeah, everything's down. Ready for put a mix in now. Just need to hack away at a bit at this tree. Just try and get it back out of the way. I've been I've been asked just to chop away at it rather than chop it off. Yeah, so um, I'll get set up on time lots now while I get the mixer set up and get a mix in.
wall, one mini wall, corner up. Fits brick at the other end. Well, I'm going to have to put a couple of bricks near it. A couple more on there to, to the corner. But we're going to run through for our bond first. Um, yeah. So it's got another course to go on before the soldiers. That's ready. So I'm going to have some dinner now. Back in a bit. Jeez, it's tough on the back today. <laughs> Two courses up. Oh, not used to working this slow. Anyway, yeah, so as I say, two courses up. One course to go and then the soldiers to go on. Stuff's going off now. Might need to mix a little bit more. There's about 60 soldiers in it. Yeah, we're getting there. There's a piece at this end, but we're just blending it in. We knew it was a piece because when we knocked it down, there's pieces. Um, we have managed to do it with the bricks that we had. Didn't need any new ones, which is good because we couldn't have matched these anyway. Um, yeah, that's it. Little update for you. The tree's out of the way. We've pushed it back. Just needs time back now, so it'll grow away from from the wall. And um, yeah, that's it. It's um, it's currently it's probably about quarter to three. to three so I need to pull my finger out to get this done 
as I said, Alex was supposed to be with me today, so we would have got it easy done. He probably got an early dart on it, but never mind. Catching a bit.
breakdown recovery. They may have to hold the truck. It just hasn't happened yet, though. A3, Petersfield, southbound. And the Rockland Day camper from the 270 to Charlton turn off. M5, Colorado, 21 northbound to Rockland Super Maris Hill. And then, A37, level to Dorchester, closed at Holywell. There's an accident between Holywell and the Stockwood turn off. And finally, the A31 at West Mills, westbound. We've got an accident near to the Express turn off. So, just for the queues through there. Another one coming. Yeah, thanks, Bobby. Binge watch the Bosch series on Amazon Prime. made his name originally of course as a WWE wrestler given that he was born into the business his grandfather was a wrestling star so too with his dad he's also related to many other <laughs>
trusty fixed bricks. If you haven't got them, get some. Very light brush. And it's outro time. It is. Get the phone light way up. Six, two minutes past six. So we have it. All done. Dropped, cleaned, rebuilt. Straight. Looks like nice and straightforward, but God, it was hard work. Working underneath holly bush. This thing, which has been dug up now, that was actually touching the wall and took it out completely and then underneath this thing as well but we got there new pack's just about recovered from that and it's also I was shown in the video but it's screw tied into this this is solid it's screw tied into this now so it's going nowhere here's the back it's obviously a new wall but it looks like it's been there for a long time looks smart And then, um, like I say, it's plum. So next door is slightly out of plum. Only, only a bit. So I don't quite line up with that bit. So there we go. Miniature garden wall in a day. Done. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And then um, hit that notification bell. See you know when we're uploading new videos. So I'll see you in the next one.